All right, welcome back. So this here is um working on a straight ace, uh, straight heat strip air handler here. Um, the issue was, uh, I guess it's just not getting any heat. So check and see what we got going on. Break her up. Let's see what we got here. Check out the rumor step. Set the heat. I feel like I heard something click. Okay, so we got a 240 volts. Okay, so let's see here. Um, don't hear any humming or anything in a buzzing. Make sure we get voltage toward contactor common. I mean, on capacitor common here. And 21 volts. Got a few relays here. See a fan relay back here, and then we got one here. I'm not sure that board is. Um, let's see here. Make sure I'm getting. Check my schematic. Can't even reach that one really. Let's see if I can. Okay, so I'm definitely getting 24 volts on that one. Okay. Let's see what our high voltage is. It didn't fall down that hole. That would have sucked. One twenty two there. So that really is getting all the voltage it needs. Let's check this one here. Check my schematic, I should be getting 24 volts between here, these on brown and white. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. And I'm guess so I'm imagining this is energizing these here terminals. Get 24 volts. Just be careful when working around this stuff, man. Don't don't do this at home. I should probably just go ahead and turn the power off. All right, there's our 28 volts. So upon a little bit more research, I found this here is a rectifier. Then it converts the 24 volts AC to 24 volts DC. Not sure why, if anyone can tell me, I'd love for you to let me know. But I'm just gonna put this thing in a DC mode. Oh, it auto selects for me, sweet. Forty one volts. Okay. Converse it forty one volts DC. Yeah. Let's just check this here contactor. So we're coming out of the contactor into this relay here. <laughs> Let's see here what we're getting out of there. Twenty 
Let's see here. Check here. Nothing on that side. Hmm. Not getting any voltage out of one side of the uh, contactor. I'm thinking it's this relay. Seems like um, I'm guessing it's supposed to be putting out 40 volts DC. It says 24 volts DC, but whatever. So it's probably the rectifier. Yeah, because that's a lot higher than it should be, 40 volts. I'm going to go ahead and try to change the relay though, just to, just to try it, be sure. If it burns this one up, then you know. Um, let's get the rectifier. Because that was a lot harder than it should be. At 40. I think it was what? Yeah, 40 volts out of it. Test it against the uh, quickly test it against the new one. I'm going to my ohm scale, check the contactor on it. I'm not the contactor, but the uh, yeah, that's open. Six megaohms, which may as well be open. Let's see what the new one is saying actually. So the new one reads, yeah, 277 ohms. So that yeah, coil is just basically burnt open. And honestly, I don't have too much faith that. See, I'm pretty much over vaulting on my rectifier, but I just, this is curiosity. I think the part's only um, 20 bucks or something. Look. 
lubricate this damn ground wire because it's just a hazard. It's threatening to interfere with everything. It's literally no room in this cabinet. Absolutely nothing. It's such a hazard, man. Right? Terrible design. Okay, this should be better. Give it a shot. I don't know. Ooh. That did it. Let's check out voltage action. I'm gonna smell those heat strips already. I took my hand draw out to it. Just a little bit. So like burnt toast. 21 amps, not too bad. Hmm. Um, let's check this here voltage. Should be DC. Amps, man. Put it on bolts. Come on, I think. Nice. 24 volts DC. That's the ticket. I did it. So yeah, there was nothing more than the um, the relay itself. The rectifier was still good. Like I say, if you guys please leave a comment if you know what that rectifier is for, why we can't just use straight 24 volts to energize this contactor. Because um, I checked on the back and it's not these these contacts aren't they're not uh, basically closed circuit with the 24 volts coming in. It actually goes to the rectifier before it makes contact with these here uh, terminals. And then these are paired. These are essentially are both, um, what do you call it? Have continuity between them. So this must just be for tap wall. Yet another, maybe um, communicating system or something that takes out DC voltage, but I'm not sure why that contactor needs DC voltage. So, um, yeah, it doesn't matter, everything's looking good. Let me know what you think about this one. It's definitely uh, an, uh, one I haven't seen before. Like always, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.